Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Rampack Robo back here with you, and today we are going to do our next eSig vape review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the V2 disposable. Uh, this is another SIGA like product. Uh, that means it's a product that's supposed to approximate uh, the weight and the size of a regular cigarette. Um, this retails for $5.99, just about any place I've seen at many uh, different stores and smoke shops. Uh, this is the packaging it does come in. Uh, very simple. I mean, there's absolutely nothing to it. No directions, no paperwork, no nothing. Just comes out this little single piece. We'll get rid of that trash. Has safety caps on one end and on the other. So, I got to tell you right off the bat, I'm, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. Um, I vaped on this thing this past weekend, <clears throat> and uh, I, I got to tell you, it's, it's, I don't, don't spend your money on this. Don't waste your money on this. Um, this is super lightweight, poorly constructed. I mean, it feels cheap. Uh, there, this white that you see around it, I mean, it, it feels like somebody glued paper onto a little cardboard toilet paper roll, something like that. Uh, it it's just feels very cheap. There's absolutely nothing to it here. Um, they've got their little tip on here that uh, glows red when you inhale on it and activate the, the burner and everything. They've got this little white plastic seal on the end. There's nothing here that has impressed me about this thing. Uh, on the box, it tells you the price right off the bat, which, uh, uh, like I said, is retailing for $5.99. Now, first and foremost, you're up in pack cigarette range on that price. This is not worth it. It tells you on the box, uh, big yellow letters, 400 puffs. And what you really have to look for is there's a tiny little asterisk right after that. And if you look at the very bottom of the cartridge, under the asterisk, it just says approximate. Well, I got to tell you, folks, I got maybe half of that out of this stupid thing. Uh, 400 puffs, even being generous, you know, think 20 puffs per cigarette, 20 cigarettes per pack. That's 400 puffs equates to a pack of cigarettes. So you learned a little math here with me today. This thing says it's going to give me that 400 puffs. Not even close. Not even remotely close. I was lucky if I got maybe half of that. Not impressive. Uh, so shoddy material, flimsy construction, uh, the vapor on it, I think it's pretty much dead. I'm going to try and show you a little bit of the vapor here. Big, long draw. Do you see anything come out? Anything at all? This is ridiculous. Uh, you get almost no vapor in this. There's absolutely zero throat hit. Another thing that I'm, I really didn't enjoy about this, uh, the V2 comes in two versions, a red uh, tobacco, which is what this is, and then they also have a green tobacco flavor, which I can only assume is a menthol version. There's absolutely no taste to this. I'm, you may as well boil water and suck in the steam. There, there was nothing to this, nothing at all. No taste, no throat hit, barely any vapor coming out. Uh, those of you who have seen my other videos, you know I don't take those huge long draws off of these things, but I'm going to try to on this just so I can show you how badly it works. So here we go. Let me, uh, Big, long draw, slow exhale. Did you see anything? And that was pretty much consistent with the whole experience of this thing. It got a little bit more vapor right at the beginning, straight out of the box. Other than that, this is a chunk of crap. Um, I'm sorry, V2, if you see this, I apologize. You need to make a better product, especially for this kind of cost. This is a uh, uh, one uh, one piece construction. Nothing un unhooks or comes apart or unscrews or anything like that. It's non recharger. They've got the glowy red tip on the front for when you inhale. I don't give a crap about that. I would rather you spend the money 
you know, that you put into making the tip glow red into making a better product. Give me a better burner. Give me better vapor. Put some tobacco flavor in there, for God's sakes, if that's what you're going to advertise it as. So, unfortunately, guys, I, I got to tell you, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm not happy with this. I say give it a pass. Don't waste your money on it. Um, you know, there are much better products out there to spend it, especially if you're doing single disposables like this. Shoddy, shoddy material. Look at this crap. Look at this. See how it just kinks up when you bend? There's no break. There's no nothing. That's what cardboard does. That is cardboard, okay? This is what you're buying for $5.99. I'm sorry. Bunch of crap. So that's pretty much it this week, guys. Uh, the V2 e give it a big pass. Uh, the next video I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm going to probably be tackling the new, the Marvel Mark 10s. I've been hearing some phenomenal things about those. Uh, those are also sig like products, uh, but they are rechargeables. Uh, so they're not just a single use. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Other than that, I appreciate you being back here with me. Please tune in for the next one when we do the Marvel Mark 10. And until that time, Y'all have a great day. Be good to each other. Peace.